shirt, the back, the yoke, the yardage, lapped seams, the nearly invisible stitches along the collar turned in a sweatshop by Koreans or Malaysians gossiping over tea and noodles on their break or talking money or politics while one fitted this arm piece with its overseam to the band of cuff I button at my wrist. The presser, the cutter, the ringer, the mangle, the needle, the union, the treadle, the bobbin, the code, the infamous blaze at the Triangle Factory in 1911. 146 died in the flames on the ninth floor. No hydrants, no fire escapes. The witness in a building across the street who watched how a young man helped a girl to step up to the windowsill, then held her out away from the masonry wall and let her drop. And then another, as if he were helping them up to enter a streetcar and not eternity. A third, before he dropped her, put her arms around his neck and kissed him. Then he held her into space and dropped her. Almost at once, he stepped to the sill himself. His jacket flared and fluttered up from his shirt as he came down, air filling up the legs of his gray trousers, like Hart Crane's bedlamite, shrill shirt ballooning. Wonderful how the pattern matches perfectly across the placket and over the twin bar tacked corners of both pockets, like a strict rhyme or a major chord. Prints, plaids, checks, houndstooth, tattersaw, Madras, the clan tartans invented by mill owners, inspired by the hoax of Ashen to control their savage Scottish workers, tamed by a fabricated heraldry. McGregor, Bailey, McMartin, the kilt devised for workers to wear among the dusty, clattering looms. Weavers, carters, spinners, the loader, the docker, the navvy, the planter, the picker, the sorter sweating at her machine in a litter of cotton as slaves in calico head rags sweated in fields. George Herbert, your descendant is a black lady in South Carolina. Her name is Irma and she inspected my shirt. Its color and feel and its clean smell have satisfied both her and me. We have culled its co cost and quality down to the buttons of simulated bone, the button holes, the sizing, the facing, the characters printed in black on neckband and tail, the shape, the label, the labor, the color, the shade, the shirt. And that was, of course, Shirt by Robert Pinsky. And it's it's just fascinating to me to read that poem because that was the literally the moment I fell in love with poetry <laughs> was uh, the lists in that poem. I was uh, a freshman science major, molecular biology major in um, James Longenbach's class at the University of Rochester. And I remember that it, that um, the ringer, the mangle, the needle, the union, just the sounds and the joy and the sounds of language in that poem are really what made me fall in love with poetry. And I might not be here if you didn't write that poem, which is such a strange thing to say, but um, it's sure, actually true. I sure hope you realize how how very happy that makes me. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you for writing.